AP Chemistry Unit 3.1, Intermolecular and Interparticular Forces. So intermolecular forces, otherwise known as IMFs, are attractions between atoms, ions, or molecules that hold them together. IMFs account for various properties such as boiling point, melting point, and the state of uh, matter at room temperature. The first IMF that we're going to discuss is London dispersion forces. London dispersion forces happen in every single type of molecule. Doesn't matter what it is, London dispersion forces are always there. They are the weakest type of intermolecular force, and they occur based off of a temporary dipole or temporary polarity, either induced or spontaneous, where the electrons just happen to be on one side of the atom of the molecule, um, whatever, uh, at a particular time. Just they happen to be more on one side than the other. That temporary uh, slight increase in charge or decrease in charge one area over the other, that is what London dispersion forces rely on, are those temporary, very small uh, dipoles. Next up is dipole-dipole. Dipole-dipole uh, intermolecular forces only happen between polar molecules. You have to be polar in order to be able to experience dipole-dipole forces. And this is uh, similar to London dispersion, but instead of them being temporary dipoles, they are permanent. So it is the permanent uh, location of those electrons being more on one side rather than another. And so they are stronger since they are permanent and have a greater concentration. Um, and the more polar the molecule, the stronger the dipole-dipole forces are. Next up is going to be hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding only happens if you have a molecule that has hydrogen present. Hydrogen is required, but hydrogen can only hydrogen bond to nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine. Uh, some of the ways that I have uh, seen people memorize the uh, that hydrogen bonds are only between hydrogen and nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine. Uh, the way that my uh, college professor uh, taught this to me was saying, hydrogen bonding, nof, 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 nof. Uh, also, I have seen hydrogen bonds are FON, F-O-N, so fluorine, oxygen, and nitrogen. Whichever way you want to memorize that, uh, but hydrogen bonds can only happen between hydrogen and um, a molecule containing nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine. The difference in electronegativity creates a larger dipole than what we see in dipole-dipole, and so they are stronger than dipole-dipole. Next up is going to be ion-dipole. Um, ion-dipole exists between an ion and a polar molecule, and it is going to be the strongest of the true intermolecular forces. Um, and uh, for how the intermolecular forces uh, impact certain uh, properties, if intermolecular forces increase, the following also increase. Boiling point, melting point, and freezing point, as well as the enthalpy of fusion or vaporization, viscosity, surface tension, and lattice energy. Remember that your intermolecular forces is going to be your attraction between different molecules. And so if I am more attracted to my neighbor, I am less likely to let go of them. And it will take more energy to boil or melt um, or uh, uh, freeze, uh, unfreeze, melting point and freezing point, kind of the same thing. Um, but it will take more energy in order for me to let go of my neighbor and therefore those are going to increase. Um, and then I'm less likely to uh, want to leave and so I am going to have a higher viscosity. I'm attached to my neighbor. My surface tension is higher because I don't want to leave the liquid that I'm in and go uh, into a gaseous state, because again, I am attached to my neighbor. And then if intermolecular forces increase, the following are going to decrease, and that is going to be vapor pressure and solubility. Again, if I have a high intermolecular force, that means I'm very attached to my neighbor. Vapor pressure is the amount of gas that's going to escape off of a liquid, and so I will have a lower vapor pressure if I am more attached to my neighbor and I am less likely to turn into a gas. And then solubility, if I'm really attached to my neighbor, I'm not gonna want to let 
water molecules come in and uh, disrupt my bond with my neighbor, and therefore I am less soluble 